Clothing simulation is an important topic in computer graphics and play a crucial role in many applications. The primary challenge for cloth simulation includes accurately modeling the nonlinear dynamics of the cloth. A high-resolution mesh is needed to capture detailed wrinkles and folds. Efficient and robust treatment of self-collisions. In this paper, we propose a novel GPU-based cloth simulator to tackle these challenges. Our simulator employs a non-distance barrier approach for collision detection, greatly streamlining the procedures involved in continuous collision detection within the simulation. Additionally, it integrates the subspace reuse technique and aggregated Jacobi method for the solver, enhancing its effectiveness in handling deformations of both low and high frequencies. Furthermore, it incorporates a residual forwarding strategy, converting residual forces into external forces in the subsequent time step to mitigate damping artifacts. Here are some experiments to demonstrate our method. To showcase the effectiveness of residual forwarding, we draped a square cloth over a teapot. Our simulator produces results similar to the ground truth. If residual forwarding is not used, significant global damping effects would be observed. We dropped 10 pieces of clothing onto the teapots. As we can see, our simulator can handle multi-layer collision robustly without any penetration. This is the bottom view of the same animation. We can see the interaction among clothes more clearly. We compare with PD Coulomb by draping a square cloth on a sphere. Although both methods yield similar results, our approach avoids interpenetration due to CCD. The simulation runs at 25 FPS. We tied a knot tightly, connecting two strips of cloth. Here, four pieces of clothing fall vertically, forming intricate self-collision patterns. The runtime performance is nearly interactive at 12.4 FPS. For this experiment, we expanded our analysis to include comparisons conducted under various convergence criteria. When the simulator doesn't achieve sufficient convergence, we can observe an array of jittering phenomena in the cloth. This jittering manifests in different intensities and patterns, reflecting the impact of convergence on the stability and realism of the simulation. In this experiment, a heavy piece of cloth falls and covers a ship, bending its masts and ladders. The contact between the cloth and the ship produces numerous intricate wrinkles, vividly outlining the contours of the vessel. Switching to another perspective, we can observe more details of the cloth. We place a rigid and heavy ball on a funnel covered by three layers of cloth. The clothes hold the sphere under high frictional contact. When the friction is not strong enough, all the clothes fall on the ground eventually. This simulation runs at 6.6 .6 FPS. In this example, we dropped six pieces of clothes into a blender. The blender spins swiftly, agitating and intertwining the clothes, ultimately causing intricate folds and collisions to emerge. We drop a group of animal toys into a container, with volume mesh and codimensional mesh interacting with each other. In this example, the virtual character quickly kicks, causing nonlinear animation effects in the movement of the multilayer skirt. In the example, we present an animated scene from a virtual fashion show. The model, adorned in a soft and lightweight midi skirt, strides to the forefront before gracefully turning around. These sequences of movements induce intricate fabric dynamics, vividly showcasing the garment's design concept. We incorporated a randomly fluctuating wind field into this animated scene, causing the skirt to sway naturally in response to the wind force. Throughout this process, the skirt undergoes significant deformations and experiences dense collisions. Thank you for your attention.